everybody watching. This morning, I'm coming out to a lake that was stocked two days ago with some trout here in Jersey. So, let's see what I could do here. Two setups for me today. There's gonna be my Trout Series by St. Croix six foot ultralight with my Okuma Avenger 1500, which is a bait runner. And on the other one, I've got the uh, same rod, but it's a 5.4, and my Shimano Sedona 500. So let me dump this one out with some uh, power eggs. And I'll leave that one pole fishing while fish the other one around. I've got the rainbow one. It's been doing good in the last couple of spots that I went to. So the same thing. I always like to use two eggs with the first with the first one and a little bit of the second one. And just like that. I'm gonna cast them out and let them and let it fish itself. There it goes. And this one, I've got the bait runner. So all I gotta do is turn it on. And wait for a bite. One for the Freaky Frank, baby. Freaky Frank starts it off. There it goes. Stringer. As you guys saw, it went for the Freaky Franks. So let's keep going. Just so you guys know, I already threw out so much garbage. And I'm still finding some lines, some bags, which I'll get rid of this before I leave today. But come on, guys, please throw your garbage. Don't dirty our nice fishing spots. Look, I see more line over here. I do this all the time, guys, and it just doesn't seem to be enough every time I come out to a lot of spots. I'm always throwing out garbage. Like I said, let's try to keep these spots clean. So we can enjoy the fishing. I mean, I just have to come and get rid of it because I can't stand it. So, power X, I haven't got touched yet. So usually every 10, 15 minutes, I'll move the cast. And what I mean is I casted it that way first, now I cast it towards the middle. And just keep casting around and leaving it there and always checking your bait just in case. But with two poles, Three poles even, which is legal in Jersey, you definitely maximize your chances. Pink magnet with a red chick head, and I'm using a weighted bobber so I can cast it farther. Seen some action down there. So let me cast this guy all the way out there. See if I get any takers. Power, power eggs with the orange. I'm gonna cast it back out, see if I can pick up another one. I got a fish right here. Yep, nice trout. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna hold on. Cause I got one. Wait. <sighs> got a fish on right here, baby. <sighs> a nice rainbow. Finally went for the power bait. The power eggs. Here it comes right here. Ah, there it goes. I'm going to go for the orange trout magnet with a red jig head. Got him. Going for that orange trout magnet. There he goes. Nice one. Yes, got him. Orange magnet. Since I got the, the other one. On the orange power eggs, I switched the orange magnet. Here it comes, right here, number three of the day. Nice one. I had one earlier in the morning with a pink Freaky Frank. Since then, two and a half hours, nothing. Then I switched to the orange power eggs, picked one up on my other pole, and that one. And then, not even 10 minutes later, I got another bite on the orange trout magnet. 
Got another one on this rod here. Yep. There it goes. I do. There it goes. Look, look at that. Look at that bend. Oh, there it goes, guys. Another one on the orange power eggs. Should be on. Let me see. Fish on. Got him. Power eggs. We're making it happen today. There it comes. There it comes. That's number four on the power eggs. There it goes, right there. Number four for the day. Started off slow in the morning, but it seems I located the pattern that they want, which is orange. Turn on the bait runner. There is nothing better to pull fish than bait runners. Obviously, last couple of sessions I've been using just a regular reel. You could do that too. I prefer to use those when it comes to steel fishing. On the orange draw magnet, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, orange is the color today. Look at this guy. No! Uh, you got off right there, guys, but you guys saw him. This one here, yep, definitely getting a hit. I'm gonna wait till it takes it. There it goes. There it goes, there it goes. Fish on. Got one. Another one. It's number five. Here it comes. Ha ha ha. Yeah, baby. Orange power eggs making it happen. All right, don't tangle me. There it goes, guys. Number five. Right there. Well, I'm using some salmon eggs and some uh, little worm that's a fake worm called trout magnet. Oh, no, well, it's working. It's working. oh, it's working, I know. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, one thing that you can learn out of this video, keep switching colors until you find what they want for the day. Got one more to go for limit. As you can see, that blackbird over there, he's already hunting every spot that I've been to in the last couple of days that I have been fishing for trout. I keep seeing these birds and the blue herons because they also know that it's stocking time. Trout fishing is fun. Even stockies, no problem, but as you can see, it's not that easy. Many people out here left empty handed. I've been putting in some time this morning, but I'm already almost on my limit. On this one, yep. There it goes, there it goes. That's gonna be another one. Look at this guy, I love it. I just love to hear that sound. Yep, there's one on right here. It's running, fish on, got him. There it comes. That's number six in limit for today. There it comes right here, look at him. Nice little rainbow. One for the power eggs. And here it comes. Number six. All right, guys. So with this one, we're going to call it a session. Very productive. I was able to catch my limit. And they're telling me that the guys around haven't really caught anything. So it makes me feel better about it. But hey, listen, guys. Come out here. Put the time in. And you will get them. Thanks for watching and see you later. How you guys doing over here? Nothing? Nothing? How about you? Not yet, huh? No. I got my yeah, some kids from school picking up garbage. That's what I do all the time, and that's what we need to maintain our spot.